and men may go but PSTB will go on forever. Friends, put your hands together to welcome on stage Quizmaster Big Brain. A big hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. This is our class apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2021. And it's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you to the national final. Well, this is Big Brain and I'm going to be your host uh, during this final. And uh, with me, of course, is a young, charming host who's taken you through all these rounds of quizzes. But before we really get into the quiz, I want to take a moment to speak about Mrs. YGP, a legend and a legacy for whom this quiz is being organized. It is her memory and her vision that we celebrate here. She always wanted something to be done for young children, especially the middle school kids. She would always tell me when we met that we do too much for high school kids and we don't do anything for middle school children. So here's a quiz in her memory, year two after the stupendous start that we had last year, a quiz exclusively for middle school kids. The second thing that she was really passionate about was India. An absolute Indian at heart, she strongly believed in alternative ways of telling our children how rich and vibrant our culture is how deep our heritage is. What better way to celebrate the memory of a great educator such as Mrs. YGP than a quiz in her memory to celebrate India with young kids. Well, the journey of the quiz is now in year two and it's been a fascinating one over the last couple of years. Thousands from across the length and breadth have taken part and we've now reached the pinnacle of year two with the national final of this quiz. Well, as Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan puts this quiz together for children across India today, we've got four children from four corners of this country, quite literally, taking part in this big final after the grueling rounds, courtesy TCS Ion on the digital platform, and then the quarterfinals and semi-finals with Rashmi. Here today, as was desired by Mrs. YGP, that young girls should also become quiz hosts. And she always complained to me that there are too few women as quiz hosts. Well, her dream and desire is fulfilled here at that quiz too with Rashmi, who incidentally shares her nickname with Mrs. YGP, which was Rashmi. And she will take us through the first couple of rounds before I come back and take you through with the final rounds. So ladies and gentlemen, at the national final, it is indeed my pleasure and privilege to introduce to you this young host, the only professional woman quiz host across Asia currently. She was rated by the business world as one among 40 in 40 in the year 2020. And that's a huge honor to have at a young age. 
She carries that responsibility with a lot of humility. Is this alumnus from NITK Suratkal, who's today gone to become a very reputed and popular host, especially among all you young school students. I will not stand between you and Rashmi and the final of this quiz, while I will come back to you after a couple of rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure and privilege to welcome on stage your host, Miss Rashmi Furtado. Thank you for the wonderful introduction, Big Brain. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the national final of a class apart Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz brought to you by the PSBB Group of Institutions along with TCS ION and Knowledge Tribe. You, if you have been with us through this journey, you have seen how these kids have done all through the quarterfinals, the semi-finals, and now they have reached the national final. We have had kids taking part from all over the country and today we have the four finalists with us. Let me introduce them to you and then get into the rules of the game. First up, we have Kabir Dubey from Jawaharlal Nehru School, Bhopal. Following Kabir is Aman Manoj from Bhavans Vidya Mandir, Ernakulam. Up next is Anumega Datta from Thakur Public School, Mumbai. And completing the lineup for this awaited national final is Shuban Singh from Sunbeam School, Varanasi. All right, like I said earlier, they have jumped through a lot of hoops to reach this national final and they are well prepared. Let me get into the rules of the game. What we have for them today is four rounds of quizzing. Each and every question is on the buzzer. The scoring pattern is plus 50, minus 50. Yes, the stakes are a little higher as we get into the national final. We only allow single attempt per question. Multiple, question, multiple attempts are not allowed. Once a, uh, a finalist's name appears on the buzzer list, the finalist will have to unmute himself or herself and give us the answer within three to four seconds. They are not allowed to press the buzzer and then think about the answer. Every question stays valid for about five seconds. And beyond that, that particular question would be invalid and we move into the next question. The rest of the rules have been explained to all the finalists in detail. Let's get into the first round of this national final, a class apart Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz. She is historic. Here we go. In this round, I have visuals for all our finalists coming up on the screen. With every visual, there is going to be a corresponding question that I will ask. However, it, it's up to the finalists if they want to press the buzzer just by looking at the visual on the screen. It's the risk that they take and at a national final, sometimes you have to take the risk. So let's see what happens. Let's start with the first question of this national final. The visual coming up on your screen now. What is this, the entrance to? It's an entrance to something very famous that all of us know. But what is it, an entrance to? Shuban going on the buzzer, go ahead. The Sanchi Stupa. Plus 50 to you, absolutely right. Sanchi Stupa, the answer I was looking for. Doing well there, he takes the first 50 of this national final. All right, moving on. Question two on your screens now. 
which famous story by Kalidasa is on the stamp? Anumegha, go ahead. Shakuntala. Shakuntala from Kalidasa giving her a plus 50. Anumegha from Mumbai, they're getting a plus 50. Moving on, question 3 on your screens now. Who is this model for Brill Cream? Anumega again, go ahead. Kishore Kumar. Kishore Kumar plus 50. Kishore Kumar is not the kind of answer that you expect these little kids to know, but they are well prepared. It's the national final. I would expect them to know such answers. Plus 50 to Anumega on that. Moving on, question 4 on your screens now. In which city of India would you find this magnificent palace? Not an unknown city. Very easy city to answer, in fact. Aman, go ahead. Bangalore. Bangalore. And what is this? Bangalore Palace. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. We do not associate such a magnificent palace to a city like Bangalore because most of us get lost in the hustle bustle of the city. But Bangalore is absolutely right, giving Aman the plus 50. The last question of this round on your screens now. Which great fort at Hyderabad is this? Oh, I thought Hyderabad was a huge clue. Aman, go ahead. Golconda Fort. The Golconda Fort giving Aman another plus 50. Absolutely right, plus 50 on that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have already completed the first round of the national final of a class apart, Mrs. YGV Memorial Quiz. Let me tell you where these kids stand before we move into the next round. I have Anumegha and Aman, both on 100 points each, and Shuban is chasing them with 50 points. Kabir is yet to score, but I, I must make a statement here that nil is actually a good place to be because he doesn't have any negatives, negatives to make up for. Many more rounds to go. Let's move on to the second round of this quiz. She is beautiful. Here we go. All right, finalists, the rules of the game remain absolutely same. I have visuals coming up and corresponding questions that go along with the visuals. All right, let's start with the first question of this round on your screen now. This is a painting by Abhinindranath Tagore. Whose last days are these? Look very carefully at the painting. Aman, go ahead. Shah Jahan. Shah Jahan. Why, Aman? Why do you say Shah Jahan? Taj Mahal. You can see Taj Mahal at the background plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. A quiz is not always about knowing the right answers. Sometimes it's about your observation skills. He's absolute, absolutely right. Plus 50 on that. In fact, this painting is called The Passing of Shah Jahan and painted by Abhinindranath Tagore, who's from the Tagore legacy. Plus 50 on that to Aman. Let's move on. This is the second question of this round on your screens. Now, who is masked in this crew? Kabir, go ahead. Kalpana Chawla. Plus 50 on that. I actually expected one of you to press the buzzer immediately as soon as the uh, visual would come up. Plus 50, Kabir. All right, let's move on. Question number three. Here we go. Identify a famous initiative. <laughs> Kabir on the buzzer again. Go ahead. Sulab. Sulab. Sulab what? I mean, I will give it to you, but Sulab what? Uh, Sulab Shaochalai or Sulab Museum of Toilets. Absolutely right. Sulab Shaochalai giving you a plus 50. Kabir is doing very well. His name is Bindeshwar Pathak. He's the founder of Sulab Shaochalai. Actually helps our country to move into the a direction of being more hygienic and clean. Plus 50 to Kabir on that. Moving on. All right, Kabir is doing well. He's catching up. Let's move on to question number four on your screens now. Whose autobiography is this? The Tunnel of Time. 
a very well known person all of you definitely know the person all right aman on the buzzer go ahead rk lakshman rk lakshman absolutely right plus 50 on that this is the autobiography of rk lakshman the last question of this round on your screens now identify her anumeka go ahead shobha de shobha de giving her a plus 50 absolutely right well most of the questions are going answered i suddenly feel if i have set the questions a little too easy for them or maybe these kids are just very well prepared let me tell you where all of them stand before handing it over to pick brain the scores as of now we have aman leading the quiz with 200 points anumega right behind him with 150 points kabir on 100 points and shuban at 50 points as a quiz host myself i must tell you as of now i can't tell you who would win the quiz i would not be placing my bets on any of them because all of them are doing very well for themselves well ladies and gentlemen the next two rounds would be hosted by pick brain pick brain may I please request to join us back on stage and continue the quiz and conclude it over to you pick brain thank you so much rashmi well ladies and gentlemen truly a pleasure and a privilege for me to come in to this wonderful quiz uh well hosted of course in the memory of a great lady a great educator like i said earlier mrs ygp and uh, appropriately enough i come in for a rashmi in fact ygp ma'am's nickname was rashmi so we have a rashmi hosting a quiz for another rashmi a legend and ladies and gentlemen we've got four fantastic youngsters rashmi seems to have really set questions which are appropriate to their caliber and level for a national final the battle's close as you have just seen the scores time for me to move on to the final two frontiers of this huge national final thousands taking part literally from across the four corners of india we have with us bhopal ernakulam mumbai and varanasi who's going to win over the next couple of rounds let's go on to the penultimate frontier it's time for us to play on what we call she is inspiring here it comes well i've got five questions for you in this stack called she is inspiring indians who have been inspiring indians from whom we should be inspired they are stalwarts in the industry or the areas that they represent uh it could be sport it could be literature it could be anything in this world the scoring pattern continues to remain the same 50 the value of a right answer 5 seconds of time is all you have on the buzzers if you could hold your buzzers up and uh, it's time for us to get the next questions coming in starting with the first one on your screen now who am i from my younger days who am i from my younger days i am a nobel laureate anumega datta is giving it a shot go ahead anumega amartya sen absolutely right she gets that as a cracker of an answer she gets a 50 on dr amartya sen superbly played as we go to the next one hands on that buzzer 200 a piece to her and aman here's the next one coming on screen now he is a great indian he was a youngster anumega has gone for it again well quizzers siddharth basu siddharth basu what do you know about him anumega uh, he is also quizzer He's also a quizzer. Well, I don't know about all of us being quizzers now, but we are all quiz masters. He's someone we really look up to, a pioneer in the Indian quizzing space, a thorough gentleman, Mr. Siddharth Basu. Uh he's someone all of us definitely grew up seeing on national television and he continues to be an inspiration for many of us and for many of course in the trade as me as quiz masters. at then is a very young and charming mr siddharth basu on your screen 
Superbly played on that and that takes the young girl from Mumbai into the lead. She seems to be good with her visuals as the next one's coming up on her screen and the others now. Famous lady, amazing singer Anu Mega Datta off in a flash. Yes, Anu Mega. Usha Uttu. Oh, superb. That was less than one second of reaction time. It's almost like Usha Uttup lives in the same apartment complex and she seems to know auntie. Well, extraordinarily well played, super fast on the buzzer. Anu Mega is now beginning to accelerate. As we go to the next question, on your screens, now. Who is this along with Tendulkar? Kabir Dube. Uh, Ramakant Achrekar. Fantastic. Fantastic answer. He's got that right. Kabir will get a 50 on that. And I think that takes him to 150. So he is beginning to close in on Aman. Aman's going to be in a lot of pressure. Especially because he's now going to keep an eye on the second place spot too. So he can't afford to take a negative. So he's got to be very, very careful with Kabir closing in. Here is the final one in this round of inspiring Indians. On your screen, the final one in this round now. A legend from the world of music. An absolutely remarkable personality. Shubham's going for it. Yes, Shubham. I'll take a guess on Zakir Hussain. Oh, that's not Zakir Hussain. He took a half chance and he's smiling because he knew he took a half chance. Is Shubham from Varanasi. He lose a 50 on that. Pandit Shivkumar Sharma. A phenomenal musician, a great inspiration, and uh, someone who I'm sure in her days, Mrs. YGP would have loved to sit and listen to. She was someone who really appreciated music and always insisted that children should also appreciate art and music. It's wonderful that the kind of vision she had is now in many ways part of the new education policy. She would have been really happy to implement it, but nonetheless, India will implement a lot of these visionaries thoughts as we move forward with education for the moment before we move forward with this quiz well let's pause for a moment to take a look at where our contenders stand Kabir Dube is on 150 and he's beginning to play extremely well right above him but in a spot of bother on the second spot getting closer and closer is Aman Manoj from Kerala he is on 200 but leading this quiz now with a lot of authority and on 300 with some cracking answers, Anu Mega Datta from Mumbai. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, these are all young kids from just class, you know, uh, middle school, so to say, and they're from different classes. It's really wonderful to see them. Some of them could be in their first big quizzes in India, as it were, as they take part and understand the pressure of big quizzing. But it's wonderful to see their knowledge of India. As we move to the final frontier, the final round of this great quiz created by the Padma Seshadri Balbavan group of institutions, ladies and gentlemen, appropriately enough, the final round of this quiz, she is a class apart. Here it comes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like Mrs. YGP, well, there are a lot of things, institutions, individuals, brands, people, creations which have been a class apart in our country. This round is a tribute to all these class aparts as places or books or whatever it is as we pay a tribute to a class apart. The scoring pattern remains the same. 50 if you get it right, 50 if you get it wrong. The final round of this quiz will determine who wins the national title this year. On the final frontier, I will be reading out the questions to you. If you think you know the answer, you're allowed to press the buzzer while I'm reading the question. But I stop reading the question the moment you choose to press the buzzer. Because you're indicating to me that you know the answer. So if you are ready, five final questions, which will pretty much determine who wins this big quiz. If you are ready, question number one, the final frontier. Three Presidency banks of India were merged to form the imperial. 
It was renamed in 1955. Kabir Dubey has gone for it. Yes, Kabir. RBI, Reserve Bank of India. Oh, we'll give you a negative. He wanted a positive there to get to that second spot. The answer is the State Bank of India or SBI. So he takes a negative. The pressure will continue to build. Four questions remaining. Here's question number two, hands on the buzzer. I was the first filmmaker in India. I was the first filmmaker in India to be honored with the Bharat Ratna. Who am I? Anumega Datta. Go ahead. Satyajit Ray. Superb answer. She'll get herself another 50. This is clever quizzing by Anumega. She's not waiting with her lead. Instead, when she knows the answer, she is going for it to consolidate her position. She's leading by 150 and we've got three questions to go. So she can't lose the quiz from here because uh, the only person who can and have a fair chance is Aman. But he's got to get three out of three and not get a negative because if he takes a negative, he's again giving Kabir a chance. So it's going to be a tricky call for Aman how he wants to play this game. Anu Mega, well, she's going to play the way she plays is my belief. As we go to the next one, hands on that buzzer. India's science saw a great landmark movement when a mission called Operation Gangotri went in to explore a particular region of the world. It was a class apart. Aman. Antarctica. Is absolutely correct. He'll get a 50 and a crucial one at a crucial moment. Antarctica. Takes him to 250. Two questions still to go. Penultimate one. Chandigarh is a beautiful place in India. A class apart indeed. It is the capital of Punjab and another state. Kabir has gone for it. He is not Haryana. giving up. Yes, Kabir. Haryana. Haryana is absolutely correct. He is not giving up here today. He moves to 150 with one question remaining in this quiz. Well, I think Anumega is safe on that one because he's got that 50 in his kitty. And even if Aman gets the last one right, I think Anumega is safe and through. The final question nonetheless here today on a class apart. Well, here we go. Banu Ataya was the first Indian costume designer Kabir Dubey again. Yes, Kabir. Oscar. Oscar award. For what? For costume designing in the pitch, uh, movie Gandhi. Oh, beautiful. Beautifully answered. He got everything right. Finally, I was looking for the name or the name of the film. Gandhi. What a film that is. And Gandhi was someone Mrs. YGP interacted with. In fact, there are a lot of humorous episodes uh, of exchanges between her and Mahatma Gandhi on his knowledge of Tamil and her knowledge of Hindi. It's something that you should Google and read about. But ladies and gentlemen, in this phenomenal quiz created as part of the memory of Mrs. YGP, it is truly, truly remarkable here today at a class apart in association, of course, with TCS Ion and Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe that we've had this phenomenal journey Here's a final look at the scores. Well, it's the winner and the rest of them are all equal finalists or equal runners up if one should call it that. And Aman Manoj will finish with 250. Kabir Dubey with a very credible 200. And he will tell himself if I had not messed up a little, I should have done better. Shubham will win the prize with a best smile. He likes quizzing and he loves quizzing. You can see that written all over. He enjoys it and that's how it should be. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, they are in the top four from thousands of students who've taken part. So it really does not matter where you are in this final. So the young lad from Varanasi will finish there as fourth. Kabir and Manoj finishing uh, beyond him on the scores, but all the three of them finish uh, pretty much as runners up at a national level. But ladies and gentlemen, the national champion for the 2021 edition of A Class Apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz, will be 
Anumega Datta from the Thakur Public School, Mumbai. Congratulations to you, Anumega, on that victory. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a year ago, it was a young girl from Tamil Nadu who became the national champion. This time around, it's a young girl from Mumbai. Well, Mrs. YGP always had this desire that she would like to see more girls in quizzing. Perhaps somewhere her blessings are a little partisan towards young girls. They seem to be winning this quiz two years in a row. It's been girls who've emerged champions. Well, I'm a great believer that in a sport like quizzing, gender has absolutely no role to play. You're just playing with the human mind. And uh, it is the greatest leveler when it comes to topics like gender. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after that remarkable quiz, we sure are not going to let you down. We've got a remarkable chief guest. A sensation when he was on the field. He literally single-handedly in many ways won us the first ever World Cup, which was then called the Prudential World Cup, smashing the Windies as the highest scorer. A man who perhaps brought super quick fielding into importance and into focus as a youngster when he was on that ground. His batting, his motivational speeches, his focus on education has been an inspiration through time. A great gentleman and an ambassador of the sport. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our pleasure and privilege to welcome to you a very dear friend of the PSBB family and Mrs. YGP, the one and only Krishnamachari Shrikant. Over to you. Hi, viewers. Welcome to Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2021. Dear viewers, you know something? I have a very close connect with Mrs. YGP. I mean, she's been a guru for everybody. Even though I didn't study in PSBB, she's been a kind of a great guru for me. And she's been an inspirational person. See, as a person, her personality has been inspirational. She's inspired so many, what do you call, thousands and thousands of people across the world. Those who have studied under her or those who know her like me. So I have some terrific fond memories of Mrs. YGP. And so I am very happy to be a part of this Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2021. And as you know, quizzes are something fantastic. And I'd like to congratulate, hey, Anu, Meghadatta, fantastic, my dear girl, for winning the quiz. And I'd like to congratulate all the winners. Because as you know, today, and especially this quiz is all about India. And people should know what is India all about. And it's fantastic to have a Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz based on the theme of India, which is something fantastic. And all I can say is, man, she is an outstanding lady. That's all I want to talk about. And my, my closeness with her goes a long way right from my school days. In fact, Mr. YGP, not even Mrs. YGP, Mr. YGP used to be a great fan of mine. So that's the kind of relationship I shared with the family. The, the relationship I, I, mean, the, I share with them has been something fantastic. And I have been, uh, I mean, Ms. Uh, Sheila of uh, PSBB has been very supportive uh, to me also as far as my relationship with PSBB goes. And so I have a long history and relationship with Mrs. YGP family. So all I can wish is this uh, Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz, all the very best. Congratulations, all the participants. Congratulations, all the winners. And congratulations, the host, Giri Bala Subramaniam. Fantastic. And may this continue for years together so that everybody benefits out of this. As you know, it's a All India Inter School Quiz. And it's fantastic for Anu Mega Datta to win this trophy. Congrats, my dear guys. Congrats. Very well done. Thank you so much there to Krishnamachari Shrikant. What a very, I mean, profound way in which he summarized that relationship. His energy, his passion, still visible to all you youngsters. That's really what you need to carry in life. Great amount of energy, great amount of passion. Thank you so much, Mr. Srikant, for joining us. Truly appreciate your time and those lovely words. Goodbye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've seen it all as the young girl stands tall. But it's time for me to welcome a very important person, the lady who's really been the force behind this quiz. The entire family of Mrs. YGP and the PSBB group of institutions have created this for you children across the country to enjoy while learn new things about India. 
It's my pleasure and privilege to request a very important lady from the PSBB group of institutions as she leads them into a great future, Mrs. Sheila Rajendran, to say a few words. Over to you, ma'am. Warm greetings and a very good evening to you all. What an evening and what an exciting finals of the second edition of A Class Apart Quiz 2021. After an equally interesting quarterfinals and semifinals. Dr. Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz, A Class Apart, is a tribute to the legendary educationist and a celebrative initiative. It is an educative come enjoyable challenge for the young students with learning interesting facts, visiting exotic places, exploring and discovering the beauty of India's history, heritage and cultural wealth. Well done all the participants. We enjoyed and learned as much as you did in participating. Congratulations to all the prize winners. A special appreciation to the young Anu Meghadatta on winning the national title. I wholeheartedly thank our chief guest, K. Shrikant, for spontaneously accepting to be part of this event. In his typical, inimitable batting style, he has conveyed his congratulatory message and spoke about his long association with Mrs. YGP and Padma Seshadri group of schools. Mr. Srikant, on behalf of the PSBB fraternity, we thank you once again for being part of this evening and encouraging all the students. Our special thanks goes to Mr. Giri Balasubramaniam, fondly known as Pick Brain, and Ms. Rashmi for their amazing way in which they have curated and walked us through this quiz. A class apart, Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz is powered by TCS Ion and Knowledge Tribe. How can we not be grateful for their ever willing support and partner with us? A big thanks to them. PSBB would like to thank all the schools for their continuous patronage and for encouraging their students. I thank all the viewers and those who have been part of a class of part quiz 2021. I would be failing if, in my duties if I don't thank Mr. S.B. Kantan and team for his technical support and help in live streaming. Wishing you and this quiz a great future. Take care. Be safe. Sayonara. Until we meet again for the third edition in 2022. Thank you and have a great evening. Thank you so much, ma'am, for those lovely words from you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching a fascinating second season of the Mrs. YGP quiz, a class apart. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back with you a year from now with yet another edition. But for now, from all of us, from the PSBB group of institutions, from me, Pig Brain, from my young colleague Rashmi, who's taken you through most of the rounds in this quiz. It's been a delightful journey and a pleasure to present this quiz, a tribute to a great legend in education, Dr. Mrs. YGP. As we offer our salutations to her, we promise you to be back with season three of this quiz. Till then, from me, Pig Brain, from all of us, thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.